Hello, everyone. Hello. Happy Monday. Let's get settled in. And we're working with Y today. Letter Y. And it's perfect on this full moon in Libra to work with balancing the yin and the yang, working with the yin and the yang, balancing, honoring that there is a balance or imbalance right now. The masculine and the feminine, and the body and the mind and the heart. We'll start with five minutes of Nadi Shodna. So establish your seat with an upright spine. Take your right hand up, curl either the three middle fingers or the first two. You can do thumb and pinky or thumb and ring finger. Right thumb on the right nostril, inhale through the left nostril. Pause the top, retain your breath, hold both nostrils. And then exhale through right nostril, releasing your thumb. There's a natural turnaround of breath when you're ready. Inhale through right nostril. Gently hold both nostrils and retain your breath. And then you exhale through left nostril. When you're ready, inhale through left nostril. Pause. And exhale through right nostril. Nice even flow of breath in and out, both sides. Balancing left and right. You're trying to find an even flow, an even rhythm. We'll do it for five minutes.
as you continue on for another minute. Know that when you work with the right nostril, this is more masculine and left nostril more feminine. And as you breathe in and out through the right nostril, inhales are the more young, more masculine. And exhales, more yin, more feminine. So even in the right, more masculine, there is still another layer of yin and yang. On the left, which is your feminine, inhaling and exhaling, still yin and yang. Take your time, but the next time you exhale through your left nostril, that could be your completion, resting your hands in your lap and coming back to natural breathing. As you sit, I'd like to read to you something from Paul Greeley on Shiva and Shakti. Every human being is a blend of a small portion of Shiva, which would be yang energy, and Shakti, yin energy. The breath, clarity, and depth of your awareness constitute your portion of Shiva's power, your Shiva prana. Your body, physical sensations, sensory perceptions, emotions, thoughts, and memories. They constitute your portion of Shakti's power, your Shakti prana. These pranas, these powers are constantly influencing each other. The yin and the yang. When you sit to meditate, your awareness becomes aware of your sensations. Your awareness becomes aware of your memories, your emotions and your thoughts. The yin and the yang. We're gonna work with the Yoni Mudra. Here, as you bring your hands together, you're gonna to interlace the three fingers, middle, ring, and pinky downward. Your index finger stays up, touching, and your thumbs touching will go down, 
So you wanna really spread thumbs and index fingers away from each other. Then you turn this in front of the lower belly. Thumbs are upward, index fingers downward. And we're gonna start lower in the body with our awareness. Lower in the body, the realm of Shakti, closer to the earth, much more yin energy, closer to the earth. Breathing deep diaphragmatic breaths for five minutes with this mudra. Become aware of your pelvic floor. Expanding, contracting with each inhale and exhale. And as we continue to sit with the mudra, lower in the body, more of a yin area, we continue to notice that there's yin and yang in the yin. The mudra has an up and down The pelvic floor moves up and down. 
within the yin is yin and yang. When you're ready, slowly let go of the mudra. Taking care of your hands, wrists, fingers, thumbs. And then sitting, my soft hands, opening to receive the benefits. It is said that this mudra balances the masculine and feminine in the body, opens us up to that balance. It's also great for the right and left hemispheres of your brain. And now we're gonna bring our awareness up into the heart. The symbol of the heart chakra is a upside down triangle and an upright side triangle. So a six pointed star. The combination of the downward and the upward. A meeting of Shiva and Shakti. In the Yajur Veda, there's a devotional chant to Shiva. And the verse captures the indivisibility of opposing forces. This is by T.S. Little. So in the heart dwells eternally, male and female, active and passive, transcendent and ordinary, immediate and eternal. In the Ajur Veda, there's a suggestion that here in the heart is the unity of opposites. the merging of seemingly contradictory entities. This merging is celebrated in the dwelling of the Lotus Heart.
with awareness at the heart space, middle of your chest, little left, little right. We will practice the Bija mantra for five minutes, the seed sound of the heart chakra, which is yam. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum, <clears throat> 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 yum. <clears throat> Yum, 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 yum. few more rounds and then let it resonate on the inside.
finding lotus flower mudra in front of your heart. Pinkies, thumbs touching. Really press right and left together, the heels of your hands. So it's like we're sealing from the pinkies down across the heels of the hand and up through the thumbs. And then spread the other fingers wide. But feel that right and left meeting evenly. A symbol of Shiva and Shakti, the yang and the yin right there at your heart. We take this lotus flower mudra all the way up over the head. We now enter Shiva's abode, higher in the body, away from the earth, considered more young, out into the world, upward and outward. But here as we sit in the yang, as you feel left and right meeting, the pressure, even a balance. In the yang is yin and yang. When you're ready, you can release, relax. You can stay seated or you can lie down. In every moment, in every instant, in every human, in every being. What might seem overarchingly yin or yang always has a little bit of yang or yin. In all things yin, there is always more yin and yang to be seen, to be felt, to be sensed, to be known. In all things yang, there's always yin and yang within it. To be seen, to be felt, be sensed, touched, to be known.
and this full moon in Libra, which is a sign of balance. We work with this energy, maybe not so much to find, to seek, to try to balance, but to recognize the balance within what may seem unbalanced, to see that it is. There's always yin and yang. There's always that dance. Thank you everyone for being here. Enjoy your day. Namaste.